All right, here we go. John Sally, welcome yes. back. Thank you very much, sir. Of course. Yes. Of course, it's been a few months. I know. I, I don't, we had this conversation. It's supposed to be every two months. Every two months. months. I think three months, months have passed. passed. Three and months have passed. Three months have passed, and I felt I was fiending. <sighs> well, well, you know, we got your fix right here. Good, good, good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let's get going. Well, number one, who's winning the NBA Finals? Who's going to the NBA Finals and who's winning? We always get your predictions. They're usually close. Yeah. You haven't been perfect yet, but they're usually in the, in the ballpark. I got the Phoenix Suns. And? Against Boston. Okay. Okay. Boosie was here last night. Bootsy. I saw you guys at the game together. Yeah. Sitting next to each other. Was that on purpose or just by accident? By accident. Wow. I, got, I, I uh, was invited to the game. Um, uh, and I said, mm, yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> I go to a basketball game. And I go, they got seats. And they had seats. And I've never been in the audience uh, since 19 you know, to watch a game from the audience. Okay. So I said, I can't do this. And I had already text Dominique that I was coming, Dominique Wilkins. Mm -hmm. So I went around, I saw Dominique, I said, and then on the way back, I saw Boosie there. And I went and I sat next to him. And I said, I didn't even ask Vlad for your number. He ain't gonna give me your number anyway. He don't pass numbers over. Let me get your number. And then the one- Which isn't true, by the way. I know. Which but isn't hey, true, but whatever. Vlad, you want people to know that you don't give away numbers. Just keep that, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, well, unless, of course, I get permission. But right. Go ahead. Uh, and then the photographer took the picture and then said, I'm going to send you this picture, good picture, you and Boosie. Yeah. And uh, then my boy, um, if you ever watch TikTok, it called uh, Atlanta Field of Dreams, um, Homes of Dreams or something like that. His name is Marcus. And he goes, hey, guys, I saw him. He went to school with my wife, too, uh, college, Tuskegee with my wife. And then I just saw all these seats. And I met Trey Young's dad from Boosie. And I was like, so I told the people I was with, come down there and so I put like four of us sat down other three stayed up mm. and I tried to watch an NBA game live <sighs> I saw Shaq okay Shaq was coming from working out mm -hmm. I see Shaq I walk up to him I told him I said you know I literally my cousin calls and says okay it's halftime and then I'll turn on TNT to hear what they got to say sometime if I have to know and Shaq says, what do you think about today's game? I said, if I was playing with my game now, I'd be as big as you. He said, you would be, because no one can hit you. You can't hit anybody. Mm. Matter of fact, they don't even try to hit anybody, right? You try not to hit anybody. It was almost like what college used to be. So when I see Ja Morant going to the basket, yeah, he's dynamic. But I realized in my time, he wouldn't have been free to do that. It oh, would have, yeah. It would have been one real foul that made him think <laughs> about going to the lane. And it's not a flagrant. It was a big man foul. Yeah. You, you were allowed to foul like that inside the lane. And you're not taking somebody's legs out. But you're hitting, if he's coming in there that fast, you take that big body and throw against, the, the smaller body is going to hit the ground, right? Most of the time. Uh, but watching these guys just have free reign, shoot when you want. I saw a guy take a shot. He was 7-1 from three. Not that he can hit it, but I was surprised that he caught it. And he and the rest of everybody else, when he shot it, they just ran down and caught like, okay, it was a missed shot. The the stairs I would have gotten if I would have come down. <laughs> what are you doing way back there? They would have looked at me like, hey. If you forgot how tall you are. The next time out, go get him. He's obviously on something. Like Chuck Isaiah and them would have been like, get out of here. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? We, we, we got plays. We practice. And their plays are the same plays as when I played. They're just above uh, the foul line. And everybody, you know, I, I listen to Charles, Shaq, and all these guys talk about the guys. And I listen to people on ESPN. There's one thing that I realized that they don't want to say. Guys in my era couldn't play in this era. Mm. Forget the fact that these guys couldn't play in our era. They didn't have the skill set a lot of these cats have. Most of these cats have a dribbling skill set that's equal to a small forward or, or a second guard. Everybody shoots the long ball now. Um, and I got a 
thank, according to Isaiah, being right, I have to thank Mark Jackson for that. Because if Mark Jackson doesn't, doesn't give the green light to Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, they're not, they would never have been, they wouldn't be who they are today. They had to have a coach to say, if you feel it, shoot it. 